Today I learned six guidelines. Six guidelines for success. You can use these in your life. They can assist you on your journey. The six are this. When you are alone, mind your thoughts. When you are with friends, mind your tongue. When you are angry, mind your temper. When you are with a group, mind your behavior. When you are in trouble, mind your emotions. And when you receive blessings, mind your ego. The first of these, when you are alone, the thoughts that run in and out of your mind, if you are not mindful, your mind can go from being a humble servant to a cruel master moving you this way and that. We must learn how to stay grounded. And with more mindfulness comes more awareness, detaching from our thoughts that we think are us, but oftentimes can be just picking up on different radio stations that are coursing in and out. We are transceivers, after all. We transmit and we also receive. When we are with friends, minding the tongue can be a lifesaver. <laughs> you know, we can often be hung by the tongue. Words are, are one of the things that once spoken cannot be retrieved. They cannot be taken back. When we are angry, minding the temper can also really make a situation a lot different. I remember being sent to a boarding school in Calhoun, Tennessee. <laughs> It was called Advent Home, seven-day Adventist boarding school with all boys. And I remember staying there for about 11 months and seeing kids who could not mind their temper when they were angry, be slammed to the ground and restrained with their hands behind their backs, hearing them screaming and hollering seeing people fighting each other, all sorts of things. And also, when I used to go clubbing, seeing people out partying and allowing the alcohol and whatever influence of the day they were under govern their actions, flaring their temper, showing their anger. When we are in groups, minding the behavior can be a very wise thing to do. How do we conduct ourselves around others as opposed to when we are alone? When we are in trouble, minding our emotions, Not making mountains out of molehills, but understanding that it is what it is. Accepting responsibility and knowing that this too shall pass. But to mind our emotions so as not to continue digging a deeper hole. And when we are blessed, 
receiving blessings that seem to come out of nowhere. Minding the ego. You know, when someone blesses you, ego is a three letter word that can destroy a 12 letter word called relationship. You may not receive that blessing again. At least not from that particular person. If you allow your ego to get in the way. So, stepping aside, remaining humble, like how the sea is king of streams because it lies below them, allow your ego to step aside and make way. Don't get caught up in the ego system. Stay a part of the ecosystem, connected as we are all one, and we are one with all that is. Thank you for listening, my friend. This has been Jerome Shaw on TOP, the Open Palm podcast here in Columbia, South Carolina. I trust you received an encouraging message about these six principles for success that can guide you in life, getting you out of tough situations or not getting you into them in the first place. Share this with someone who needs to hear it. And if this is your first time receiving this podcast, subscribe for inspirational messages like this. If you'd like to support, head over to anchor.fm slash jshaw. Clicking the support button there is much appreciated. Shout out to all the supporters who continue to donate, making it possible for episodes like this. You are much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And have a blessed day or night, wherever you are, my friend. As always, take care.